With three examples, we will understand how do we find arc length when the angle is given in degrees or in radians or when a triangle is given to us. Let us enjoy the journey of learning. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will focus on how do we find arc length in different situations? While in the playlist, we will consider area of sector and segment also. So we have three different examples and in each one of them, we have to find the length of the arc AB as highlighted here. Clear? So in the first one, we will actually derive the formula and then we can proceed to find arc length using the form. So let's look into the concept first. We know that the circumference C is equal to 2 pi r, correct? Circumference is the periphery of the complete circle. But since we are only interested in a particular arc which is from A to B, we look at the angle inscribed. The angle is theta. The circle has infinite symmetry and therefore we can find this length of the arc AB as equal to the ratio of the angle, right? So it is basically equal to, let me write down here, 2 pi r times the angle theta over the total angle. If you are working in degrees, in that case it will be 360 degrees, right? And that gives you the formula. It can be always simplified as pi r theta by 180. But I hope you have understood the concept. Using this concept now, let us try to find the arc length in different situations. So here is our example 1 on arc length. So in the given situation, we need to find the length of the arc AB. So length of the arc AB will be angle which is 70 degrees, right, divided by 360 degrees, which is full circle, times 2 pi r, 2 pi times r. Now the radius is given to us as 10. So we can write down this as 70 over 360 degrees, both are in degrees, 2 pi times radius, which is 10. Perfect. So you can simplify this particular expression and then write down your answer. So, so 10 like this. You could simplify this, right? So dividing by 2, you get this as 18, right? So in exact values, I could actually now simplify this also as dividing by 2, we get 35 over 9. Is that clear to you? So the exact value here will be 35 over 9 pi units. Is that clear to you? So that is how we find the arc length AB which subtends an angle of 70 degrees at the center. Is that clear to you? Now let's do part B. Here we are given a triangle whose sides are 12 each and we need to find the arc length as highlighted A to B. So to find the arc length A to B, first step will be what? First step will be to find the angle, correct? Now here you see it's an equilateral triangle. So in an equilateral triangle, the angle theta has to be 60 degrees, right? 180 divided by 3. So we know angle theta is 60 degrees and now we can find arc length as a ratio of 60 over 360, which is full circle, right, in degrees, times 2 pi r, which is the circumference. Now since r is 12, right, we know r is 12, we can substitute this value here and we get 60 over 360 degrees times 2 pi times 12. 
is that clear to you? Now you can simplify this expression. 60 goes 6 times, right? And 2 goes 3 times. And then you can simplify further, dividing 12 by 3 as 4. And therefore, we get our answer as equal to 4 pi. Make sense? So that is how we can find the arc length. See how I have simplified, right? We are not using calculator, but we are providing exact value of the arc length. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now let's look into the next example. Now here you will notice that the angle given to us is in radians. So angle theta is given to us as pi by 5. And if I don't write any unit, it means radians. Now we know that the circumference is 2 pi r. And the full circle, if I go through full circle, then this is 2 pi. So we're looking for the arc length a to b. So this will be in the ratio of pi by 5 to 2 pi. So arc length a b this time will be equal to what? Well, the angle pi by 5 over complete angle of 2 pi times 2 pi r, right? If you don't know the formula, formula is very simple, r theta, right? But you will see just now. Now, in this case, you see, we can cancel 2 pi with 2 pi. So, what remains is pi by 5 times r. Do you see that? Since r is equal to 10, I will write the value of r as 10 and simplify. And that gives me the answer as 2 pi. You get the idea, right? Simplifying, 10 goes 2 times with 5, so we get 2 pi. So you'll notice that if the angle is given in radians, right? So make a note here. For the angles in radians, arc length A equals to R theta. You see that? So that is very important to understand, straightforward. So well, in this particular case, you understood how do we find arc length? And we also discovered that if the angle is given in radians, then arc length is r theta, right? So I hope with this, the concept of finding arc length is absolutely clear. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. In case you want to learn from me, send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.